Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. A bit of a different video for you guys today. Today's gonna be all about hair. I ordered and received the new Shark, let me turn this around, the Shark Flex Style. So this is my very first experience with a Shark product in general. I don't even have like a Shark floor cleaner or anything like that, but I've heard a lot of great things. Um, but this is the answer, the affordable answer, hopefully, to the Dyson Airwrap. How many of you guys have the Dyson Airwrap? When that came out, I believe I had a pixie cut, so there was no need for me to buy the Dyson Airwrap, but I do have a Dyson blow dryer, their regular blow dryer, and I do enjoy that. So, when I saw this, I saw this on Instagram, and I was like, that looks so cool. Like, I've always I've always wanted to try the Dyson Airwrap, but, you know, my hair, this is as long as my hair has been in a number of years. I've always kept it, like, you know, really short. I am trying to let it grow out a little bit, not too much. I think this is a really good length for me, but I felt like my hair was long enough to where I could try this for you guys, see if it is worth your time, and more importantly, your money money and see if it's something that is very comparable to the Dyson Airwrap. Now again, I don't have that one. I I don't really want to spend $600 on a, a hair styling product, but you know, I totally get it. I, I think I think it deserves its hype, I guess, because I've heard and seen that a lot of people do enjoy it, and I do enjoy the blow dryer, so, you know, to each their own, if you're able to spend that much, then have at it. I wanted a more affordable option, so we are going to be trying this out today. Obviously, I've already styled my hair with it. I'm going to take you through the entire process. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to do just first impressions. I'm going to use everything that's in this box. And I'm also going to do a bit of a wear test. I do want to get this video up today. So the wear test is probably only going to be about six or seven hours. Keep in mind, and I do mention this later in the video, but keep in mind, I live in South Texas. It is hot and humid pretty much 24 seven. Um, we've been getting little cool fronts lately, which is why I got sick last weekend and I still sound a little bit, you know, stuffed up. But um, yeah, I got really sick. I got really sick and I was actually out from work for a couple days. This was one of the things I bought while I was home sick on the sofa. You know, you start shopping and one thing leads to the other and here is my new shark. Now, I do want to tell you, let's talk about price real quick. So this retails for $24.99. Uh, I wish it was $24.99. $249.99. And in this uh, box, you're going to get three different uh, stylers. So you get to pick. There's five different attachments to choose from. And um, they let you pick three. And then, of course, you get the drying component that's over here. Now, all of this, about $250. When I ordered, and I ordered straight from the Shark website, I was going to order from Best Buy, but it was sold out on Best Buy, but I have seen, where else did I see this? I think HSN might have it as well. I don't know if it's in stock, but when I ordered from the Shark website, it said it was going to be uh, shipped in about four weeks. So I was like, well, okay, you know, that's all right. My hair will get a little bit longer. Um, I'll have something to look forward to, but... I ordered Tuesday afternoon and it arrived Friday evening. That was three days. From four weeks to three days, free shipping here in the US. That's not bad. And they also have uh, to where you can put it like on easy pay, uh, a firm. You can use a firm and break up the payments and, um, you know, just whatever your budget allows. So the three attachments that I chose were, of course, the curler so that it could be like the, the Dyson Airwrap. Um, I chose the paddle brush and I chose the round brush. Now, the other two attachments, one was an air concentrator kind of like a little like a little slot like a little slit so that the air you can really just focus it on a certain portion of your head and then there was also a curl diffuser now i already had a curl diffuser i have one for my dyson so i that's why i chose these other ones well when i opened the box and you're going to see this in the unboxing portion 
they included the air concentrator. So now I have four out of the five different attachments. So that's pretty cool. That's good. I don't know that you can buy these attachments individually. Um, I don't recall seeing that on the website. So it's going to allow you to pick three. And when you pick the barrels, these are what is going to give you that Dyson air wrap effect. This comes as one. So this would be considered one attachment and you do have one for left and right. I don't want to go over like all of this right now in the intro because I am going to be covering all of this, you know, throughout the video, but here's the paddle brush and then here's the round brush. So, uh, the component, and again, you're going to see me try this. This is what it looks like, and I will say it is super lightweight, and I do like that you can turn it into like a seven, a little L shape, upside down L, and it just makes using it um, that much easier and that much lighter too. So I'm excited for this. I don't really do hair videos that often on my channel. I'm primarily a makeup, skincare, some skincare focused uh, beauty channel, but you know, every now and then I like to change things up. And I think this is gonna be, I think it already is a very popular product. And I just wanted to try it out for you guys. And we'll see if it's worth your time and your money. If it is your first time here on my channel, I wanna say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph. This is what I love to do. I love Love trying out new makeup, new beauty, obviously now new hair care products. Um, so you're always going to see like new makeup beauty reviews here on my channel. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, which I'm going to be working on an eyeshadow palette video later today. And I do makeup ranking videos. We just talk about makeup. We have a great time while doing it. If that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos on pretty much a daily basis, I do tend to upload quite a bit with the exception of this week because I've been sick. Do me a favor click on the subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you like what you see, if you're as curious about the shark flex style as I am, give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, I will have everything that I'm wearing, the makeup, the jewelry, the Bucky, well, I can't link the Bucky shirt, but you know where to get the Bucky's tee. And of course, the uh, Shark Flex style. I'll have it linked in the description box. Some of those things might be affiliate links if you do end up shopping through them. I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let's start unboxing the Shark Flex style. If you guys want to see this new hair styler in action, keep on watching. All right, guys, so here's what the box looks like of this new Shark Flex style. You can see it has the pictures of the different attachments right here on the side. Kind of shows you how it bends. We open it up and we have, you know, some more basic instructions, some quick guides on especially how to bend it, which is super easy. I'll be showing you guys that in a second. Um, I do want to say that on the Shark website, there are some really helpful, quick tutorial videos on how to use all of the attachments. I was watching um, them last night, and it really is very helpful. So I'm sure if you click on that QR code there that's in the box, it'll take you straight to that. But um, I, I did appreciate that. Those quick little videos, they do come in handy. Of course, you do have the user manual, the styling guide the do's and the don'ts, and just the basic operating instructions, safety instructions, and whatnot. And then once we get inside the box, that's where all the magic is. You have the roller brush. That was one of the attachments I chose. That one is the paddle brush. I'll show you guys that a little bit later. And then the two curl barrels. This is what I think everybody is the most excited for. I know I was the most excited for this. That one is labeled left, and then the other one is going to be labeled right. And those are the little cool touch handles at the top. That's where you attach it at the bottom. Now, I didn't know, but they inserted this, uh, like an air, precise airflow nozzle. This is another attachment. I didn't choose this one. I only got to choose three. This was not one of the ones I chose, but it was included, so I will take it. But here is the actual hair dryer, the Shark Flex style. You can see it's long. It's long like the Dyson. It has a filter down there at the bottom. And then you have some different buttons on the bottom and on the side. So I'm just really excited to play with this. Let me take you over to my bedroom, and we'll start styling my hair with this new Flex style. 
Okay guys, so we're going to start styling my hair. I just got out of the shower. My hair has been air drying for maybe mm, 10 minutes or so as I get my little filming set up here going in my room. Here it is plugged in. This is a nice, at first I thought it was going to be rose gold, but it's more like a pewter with some nice like silver slash gold accents i think feel like it could go either way but i think it's more leaning on the silver side it's really nice really smooth and it's lightweight it's a lightweight device this kind of feels more lightweight than my dyson i don't have again i don't have the dyson air wrap i have the uh, regular dyson blow dryer so hence the curiosity with this one so here are the um, different buttons that you're gonna press. This is the cold shot button, or the cool shot button, I should say. This is the fan speed, the heat intensity, and then this is the on or off button. Right here is the filter that this just kind of screws off. Um, let's see, you kind of just have to, yeah, you just pull it down, and right there you can clean the filter, and then you just click it back up, okay? So there we go, oh, and then, more the most important button right here is where you just press down on it and then it kind of just turns and goes into a number seven <laughs> and then it has a shark right there and on this side too so i think it's really cool i think this is a neat device and that's what it looks like that's where the air is going to come out so let's try out the different speeds so i'm just going to turn it on Okay, so three different heat levels, three different uh, fan speed levels, and then of course the cool shot button. You do need to hold down the cool shot button in order for um, the cool air to come out. It's not just like a one-time press. So, so far I think it looks pretty easy, pretty easy to work with. I am going to, I've already applied two things to my hair. The first thing I went in with is, um, actually both things are from Living Proof, but this is the full uh, thickening cream. And then I also went in with the, um, what is this? The Instant Restore Instant Protector. I love using this stuff. I use it about maybe three times a week, um, specifically on a damp hair, but you can use it on dry hair. It's a weightless heat and UV protection. So this one has worked out really well. I'll probably finish off whatever style I'm gonna do with the Verb Ghost Oil. This has been working out really well for me. Once again, I have uh, short hair. I would consider this short hair. It's not my pixie cut that I used to have, but you know, it's barely touching my shoulders and I do have a fine hair, color treated hair as well. So I think I'm going to put on the paddle brush attachment, kind of start brushing through the hair. I don't want to get the hair completely dry because I do want to use those uh, barrels to create those curls. I think one of the most exciting things about this product um, are those attachments. So it does say that your hair should be about 80 to 90% dry when using um, that specific attachment. So let me grab the paddle brush i might even um use the uh the roll brush just to try it out and then for sure we're going to be trying out those um curling barrels all right so here is what the paddle brush looks like and that's just what you use to attach it it feels all right i mean it feels feels like a brush let me just i'm gonna push this button down right here is like the locking button so i'm just gonna put that down and now it's locked that was very easy to do. So I think I'm going to do, let's see. I'm going to just twist it. Like that. Is that what I want to do? No, that's not what I want to do. We're going to use it like this. So I'm going to do the, um, probably the medium fan speed with medium heat.
Okay, so this was very easy to use. It is really lightweight. I feel like the bristles, they really comb through the hair really well. I feel like my hair is about maybe 60% dry. And I do want to try that nozzle that kind of just um, concentrates the air on a certain area. So I think I want to do that for the roots. And then I'm going to change into the um, roll brush just to try it real quick before we get into those curling barrels. All right, so I've added the air concentrator right here, which is totally unexpected. I didn't order this, so thank you, Shark. <laughs> um, and and I'm going to do low, uh, low heat and I'm going to do low fan speed. All right. So I kind of just wanted my roots to be a little more dry than what they were. Um, I don't, I feel like my hair is already getting pretty dry and that's been pretty quick. I think I've only been filming for like six minutes or seven minutes so that's actually that's actually pretty good pretty good time i do like the concentrated airflow nozzle i think that's really great and i love that you can turn it into a seven it makes it just so much easier to use it's not so big and bulky so far i'm having a great first experience with this okay so now i've attached the curl brush this to me um, is reminding me of that Revlon, this, what is it, the One Styler or something like that. I forget the name of it, but I have that brush. I like it. I don't reach for it very often, but I mean, it does work. It does get the job done. So I'm just going to use this for maybe about 30 seconds because again, my hair needs to be a little bit damp when we go in with those curling barrels, but I just want to try it out and just see how the bristles feel on my hair. So again, I'm going to do the same low airflow and low heat. Okay, so first impression, this is a little bit tougher. I really liked the paddle brush. I felt like that glided through my hair so much better, but this one is a little bit, a little bit tougher. I feel like my Revlon is a little smoother of a glide, um, but maybe, you know, maybe I just need to get used to it. But, you know, I do see some of my hair that has come out and I did see some on the paddle brush as well. But, um, you know, I think I think if I was going to use this and then the air concentrate, I think I could get, you know, the desired look I want. But yeah, this just felt a little a little too tough for me. So I actually think I actually think maybe I should have should not have gotten this attachment and went, went for the the curl diffuser instead. But, you know, it's here. I'm going to work with it. But first impressions, this one is not my favorite attachment. All right. So here are the curling attachments. And of course, I did show you this earlier, but they're clearly labeled. You have your right and you have your left. Um, so you will need to interchange them depending on what side of your head you are working on. So I think I'm going to start. I'm going to start with my left. I always start with my right, but let's start with the left side. And again, it just snaps on. Now this you can use either way you want. I'm going to try using it like this, the seven. Um, and I'm going to do, so this is actually the one that has like the more specific instructions. So once you attach it, when you start using it, it says to hold on heat for 10 seconds and then to hold on cool for another 10 seconds. So we're going to see if that works. Um, maybe you'll need to hold for a little bit longer on heat and then the cool is what's going to help it set. So you're definitely going to want to do both of those steps. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just leave it on the low heat or maybe I should do medium heat with low fan speed. I think that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. And so this is going to wrap the hair around like the Dyson Airwrap. I've never used a Dyson Airwrap. So this is a definite total first impression for me. So let me get my speed going. Wow, look at that. Okay, and I forgot to mention you need to turn it off before you let the curl go. Okay, I'm going to try I'm going to try bringing it up using it straight. Okay. There we 
we go. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm curling in the right direction. I guess it really doesn't matter, right? Okay, and so sometimes, I mean, I'm sure you can just feel your way through it, but I had it to where the cool shot button wasn't facing me to where I could see it like in the viewfinder here or even in my mirror behind um, my camera. But yeah, you kind of have to feel around for it. It's gonna be the only like top button. All right, let me continue on. Okay, so the left side is done. I think that looks really nice, like a nice bouncy wave. Oh, and I missed a piece back here. I think I can do some of this part with the right. There's a learning curve, at least for me, because again, never tried the air wrap before, but I mean, it seems pretty simple and it's curling my short hair. So let me change attachments and I'm going to jump over to the right side. Now, one thing I do want to mention since I just changed attachments, don't grab it from the barrel, especially right after using. It is very warm. You want to just twist it from up here, the little cool touch point. All right, so I was kind of having a little bit of trouble finding the airflow to grab it up here in the front. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's keep going. Whoa, nice, look at that. And it's so smooth. I like it, I'm liking it. Let's keep going. There we go. Okay. Nope. Better. Much better. Okay, so it's just going to be trial and error. And so you're going to want to catch the hair at the bottom and then it's going to just wrap its way wrap its way around. So I'm going to finish off my hair and I'll be right back to show you the completed look. Okay, guys. So here is what my hair looks like. Fully styled with the new Shark Flex Styler. I think my hair looks bouncy, lots of volume, very smooth. I haven't applied the Verb Ghost Oil yet, but I, I really like it. I, I definitely think there's a learning curve, especially for me that I've never used a product like this. When the Dyson Airwrap came out, I had a pixie cut, so there was no point in me buying it. Plus, it's $600. Um, I do know they've made improvements to that Dyson over the years, but I'm really happy to see Shark come out with a more affordable version of, you know, Something that can do pretty much the same thing the Dyson can. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my Dyson blow dryer. I have really fast drying speed or drying time with that. And I mean, I use it maybe once a week, but um, I can definitely see myself using this a lot more. Now, I am going to add a little bit of the Verb Ghost Oil. I usually do about that much. I'm just going to run it through, especially the ends. I'm going to add a little bit of hairspray as well. Here is the hairspray that I'm using. Okay, guys, so here's what my hair is looking like. I almost said complexion. <laughs> hair is looking like with all of the styling products. And after using all of the attachments in the new Shark Flex style, I had a good first experience. Definitely a little bit of a learning curve, at least for me, that I've never used a Dyson Airwrap um, with those curling barrels. But I, I, I liked it. I can see the idea. I can see the benefit. I just love the smoothing and bouncy and volume effect that this dryer has given my fine short hair. So I live, for those of you that don't know, in South Texas, 
it's a very humid climate and I haven't gone outside yet, but I'm pretty sure it's humid. It's humid every single day. So I'll be in and outdoors throughout the day. I'll give you guys a couple check-ins. We'll wrap up the video at the end of the day. I'll let you see how this hair is looking. I do have a couple more videos that I'm filming today. So it's a busy day here in my stash. But first impressions, I think, you know, this is a fantastic product and I'm anxious to see how this head of hair is going to be looking probably what maybe nine eight nine hours from now so definitely stay tuned hey guys decided to come outdoors for this five hour check-in with the shark freestyler my hair is still looking good loving it the curls definitely still there the nice wave check in with you guys later okay guys here is what my hair is looking like at the seven hour check-in this is where i'm gonna leave the wear test for today just because i want to get this video up today but overall my final thoughts on this new shark flex styler is that i think it's a pretty good alternative um definitely if you're not wanting to spend the 600 bucks on the one from dyson um this is a fantastic alternative um i do have the dyson blow dryer i love the dyson blow dryer but this is just something different never tried the air wrap but this is going to give you the same effect um, if you do pick up these barrel style attachments again you do get to choose three different ones on the shark website for 250 bucks um these are one of the ones that I chose, you get one for left, one for right. You get the round brush, which this one wasn't my favorite. I felt like this just didn't smooth out the hair the way some of my other products use. So I probably won't be reaching for this one as much. I really did enjoy the paddle brush though. I thought this was really nice just for overall drying the hair. I thought this one was really good. And then they ended up including the concentrated airflow nozzle, which always comes in handy. Um, I have, again, short, fine hair. So the dry time for my hair type is definitely going to be on the lower end, maybe more like five to six minutes if I'm just straight blow drying it. Now, if I'm drying to style, like if I'm going to be using this attachment, um, I definitely think it's going to take a little bit longer. But the more I practice with it, the more like if you guys get it home and you try it out, you're going to get the hang of it. You're going to be able to move a lot quicker. Um, overall, I think I think it's a fantastic product. And I think my hair looks really good I was indoors and outdoors uh, granted I wasn't outdoors the entire time um, during this wear test but my hair still has that bounce to it it has that fullness it has that curl and for being down here in South Texas in the humidity I don't feel like my hair got frizzy I mean maybe just a tad like a tad bit but overall, I think it looks really good and I'm really happy with the results. I look forward to using it some more. So now I want to hear from you guys. So what did y'all think of today's hair tool review? I don't do these hairstyle videos very often, but this was definitely something that intrigued me. It caught my attention when I saw it on Instagram, the Shark Flex Style. Let me know if this is going to be on your holiday wish list. This would be awesome if it went to like Ulta or some. Sephora. I don't know that it will go to those places. I know Best Buy had it, but it was already sold out. So let me know your thoughts. Sound off in the comments down below. Maybe you have the Dyson Airwrap. What has your experience been? And what do you think of this new one from Shark? I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.